Oh, hey, pipe smokers, it's me, Mike from TPC again. Fancy seeing you here. Sporting again. Never had to do that for a shirt. What the hell? Tom Elting, Denmark. Embroidered tea. Gift from my boys at the Danish pipe shop. Always too good to me. And still smoking better. Made in Denmark. Beautiful pipe. Perfect flake pipe. Gift from Christian Gilemo from Sweden. Smoking a flake. Black Baron's vanilla. Same as in the video I posted three minutes ago. Very excited for this next. The last one was great. It was contest pipe number five was the last video so if you haven't seen it yet go back and see it this one I've been talking with this gentleman for a little better than a week tell him how much I appreciate the work he does and he's been in the game a long time he does podcasts some podcasts that you really should check out with some great pipe makers and people in the pipe world. This gentleman I first met when I first started out TPC. I don't know if I I met him. I don't know if he knew me. Was on actually Twitter when I started doing Twitter for Facebook. It's very witty, funny, good personality, and, you know, in the pipe world, great guy, great guy. Now that I've gotten to know him better, I like what he does. Um, just posted a blog piece by him. It wasn't intended to be a blog piece to begin with, but it was written so well that I turned it into, well, I asked him, and he said it was okay, and I turned it into a blog piece. on www.tobaccopipecollectors.com and this box comes from mpaul.com I have not looked at this pipe I told him pick one out and send it to me and he did just that and he did it quickly and it's a huge honor to be holding this box in my hand, to be honest with you. Because I've been watching his work, which we'll go into for those of you that don't know Ollie. His name's Ollie Sylvester. Um, Oompal.com. If you don't know his work or anything about him, you might be a little shocked. I'm going to open the box with a knife that I won in a Skype contest from Sarge, Metamorphist. Thank you, sir. Again, I, I've yet to see this pipe. And we'll go into a little more detail on, you really need to read his blog post that I put up on tobacco pipe collectors. It explains his way of thinking, uh, his idea of pipes, the name of the blog piece is called uh, marching, oompal.com, marching to his own beat, because that's exactly what he does. He doesn't care. He's doing great work. He's doing it the way he wants to do it. And... Yeah. 
Okay, this is fantastic. These cards are great because I'm going to the, the West Coast Pipe Show and I'm hoping to see some of you makers there. But the ones I don't, I've got cards. And I'm going to hand it out. Moonpal.com. It's killer. It's going in my collection. Okay. Mike, it is a pleasure to present to you Apep, number four out of five. Apep was an evil serpent, god demon, from the undulating rim to the serpentine coloration. This demon pipe is certainly a strange one. The wood from this line is very old and was sitting in Germany half finished since the 1960s. I bought them, finished drilling them, then turned them into the Demon series. He did ten sets of five, all named by set, and numbered within that set. I hope you enjoy, Ollie. That's cool. I hope you guys got that. That's awesome. Oh, yes. And these bags he sends just fit everything that you would expect. This line in the, in the name of his pipes is Monstrosity Pipes. Any of you that own one probably recognize the back. It's burnt up, stapled together. <laughs> that is killer. Stapled together in places. Again, first view for me. And all he is. the stem. <laughs> that is wicked. All he's trained under, I mean he's, he's a pipe maker. He's trained under some very talented pipe makers. He himself being a very talented pipe maker. But look at this thing. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys can see the color on that. Just a mutilated green pan mess of beautiful. With his logo and the group, APEP, number four or five. Look at that. Monstrosity pipes. And by all accounts, these things smoke fantastic. I mean, this briar's older than you should be able to get. I did a blog post about the same, the same theory here. I mean, aesthetically, it's beat up, but everything you look at, it's 100% smokable pipe, and it's actually built really, really well. It's got a bowl coating on it. Drill holes right on the bottom. I mean, it's drilled great. Goes back to the blog piece I did about beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It's also on the TPC Sweet Smokes blog. I think this thing's fantastic. It is a thing of beauty. just awesome and I imagine there will be some comments from people that say 
What the hell? This one, I think I will call Clanch. He did a good job of making sure he got some grind marks right where he'll be clenching. This one's begging for teeth marks. Ollie, awesome. Awesome. If you guys haven't checked out oompaul.com, O O M P A U L. Dot com, you've got to go check it out because he's got a bunch of different monstrosity pipes and a bunch of different series and some of them get r right down crazy <clears throat> and if you haven't checked out his podcast you need to do that as well <laughs> there it is tickled pink with that I'm happy to finally have one in my collection after hearing about them so long ago and seeing them in the back of Pipes and Tobacco magazine. And now I have one. Thank you very much, Ollie. I just can't get over all the kindness I receive from pipe makers and, and friends of the page. Just awesome. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to all the new subs. Thank you to the ever-growing Tobacco Pipe Collector Facebook family. We are knocking on 1,600. Um, I don't know what else to say, but thank you. I say that a lot, but I mean it. I don't just say thank you to say thank you. I really mean it. Thank you, Ollie. Moonpaul.com Monstrosity Pipes Can't wait to smoke it That's going to, that's going to Pipe Club Alright Pipe Smokers That's it One more thing Just to finish off Daft Lily one, Geopipes, Giovanni, getting ever closer to his pipes, heading out to Copenhagen, Denmark. Could be sold at the Danish Pipe Shop. It's a fantastic group of pipes. If you didn't see his video, or you're not on TPC Facebook where I posted them, go check him out. Okay, that's it. Peace. Sweet smokes.